In this video, I'll show you how to install Docker on a virtual private server. So let's take a look. So in this example, we're gonna be using DigitalOcean. We're gonna be using a very basic packet that they have over here, which is a virtual machine with one CPU, one gig of memory, 25 gigs of storage, and one terabyte of bandwidth, which is gonna be about $5 a month. It's a very cost-effective way of doing this. Now, if you're not comfortable with this one, I'll give you some other options like Vulture or Racknerd. Uh, also very low cost, excellent options. So you select whatever you're more comfortable with. I'll have a link in the description below so you can get a credit to your accounts, if, especially if you're just trying this out. So there's no up upfront cost for that. And once you have signed in, you'll get to the main page like I have right over here. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to deploy a virtual machine. So we're going to select the option right over here. First option is to select the image that you want to use. We're going to be using Ubuntu 20.04 and we'll be using a basic shared CPU. We'll scroll down a bit over here. So for the options over CPU, you can just use a regular SSD. You can also use a premium Intel if you want. It'll be a little bit faster. Uh, in this case, I don't think we really require the maximum performance, but then you can go ahead and select whatever options uh, you're more comfortable with. In this example, I'm just going to do low cost. So $5 a month, we're going to be using a regular SSD and you can scroll down a little bit further here. And then you just select the location that you want to do it. You can select any country that you want. I'm going to use Toronto just because it's local to me. And then it has a default name. I'm fine with the default name there because I'm not going to be setting up anything other than that. I'm going to be using a root password. If you want to set up SSH keys, you can go ahead and do that. It's a more secure approach to that. And now you can go ahead and assign a root password for this server. Uh, and I'll do that right now. Okay, and once you have your password entered, you can scroll down to the next option. You can select additional options like enabling backups, which is probably a good idea to have a backup of your server. And then they have these other monitoring options available. And then we're gonna scroll down a little bit over here and we're gonna be finalizing it. So we're just creating one droplet right now. And then we have the host name. It's all default over here. Now I don't have a project and I don't have a team. So I'm just gonna be leaving that as is. And then I can go ahead and click on create droplet. All right, so our server is now created. You can see that there's a credit up here for $100, and I'll make sure I link that in the description below so you get a credit if you're trying this out. Okay, so mine has now been deployed. It's giving me an IP address, and it also has other options to mount volumes or create backups. So now that we have the IP address, we just have to go ahead and log into our server. So we can do that by uh, using PuTTY. So I can go ahead and open up my PuTTY. And if you don't have PuTTY, it's a free download, and I'll make sure I link that in the description below. So I have PuTTY open over here. What I'm gonna need is my IP address. So I'll go ahead and I'll be back at this window. I'm just gonna click on copy and I can go into PuTTY inside here. And then we need to provide it a username and password. Okay, so let me just minimize this window over here. We have PuTTY and I'll click on open. So we get a prompt over here. It's a security prompt. We can accept it and it's gonna ask you to log in. And now you're gonna type in your root username and then the password that you had just created. So let's make sure the window's active and then paste it in and then hit enter. And there we go. So we're logged into our server and now we can continue with the next step. If you find this guide useful, you can do me a favor by smashing that like button. What it does is it helps you reach as many users as possible. And I greatly appreciate that. Okay, and the first thing that we're gonna do now that we're logged in is we're gonna be installing Docker. I'm gonna be making sure I link this in the description below. To install Docker, there's a convenient package and all you have to do is paste in two lines. So the first one is gonna be this curl dash F S S L H T P S and it's get Docker. And um, let me just expand this a bit here so you can see it, that looks good. Okay, so we're gonna put in the first line and that is to get Docker. And then we'll go ahead and hit enter and that ran. Okay, now that the machine is prepped, we can go ahead and paste in the second line, which is sudo sh get docker.sh. And we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. And now it's gonna install Docker. We'll just give it a moment while it does that. Okay, and that is now completed. It actually just took a couple minutes, not very long. Uh, so this is what it's gonna look like after Docker has been installed. And just to confirm that everything is in here, we can just check the Docker version that we have. And you can do that by typing in docker dash dash version and then hit enter. And there you have it. We have Docker running in Ubuntu on our VPS. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Please smash that like button if you found this video useful. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.